live from 48205. My man, Adrian Principal in the building. What's up? And we got another special guest, dog. I got to let dog introduce himself. He got to tell this story. Because this story is wild, dog. Introduce yourself. Tell the people about the rum and the vodka and the story. Okay, that. Well, man, first to introduce myself, I'm Maurice Morton, a.k.a. Mo. Everybody call me Mo. From the, uh, yeah, man, from the Tusk family. So I, a little bit about our story, man. We, uh, we inherited some land from my grandfather that was purchased in 1906 by his great-great-grandparents, right? Um, they, were, they were sharecroppers and former slaves who actually were... Are y'all hearing this? Yeah. Land. Yeah, right. yeah. So they were, they were, they were actually married the year slavery was abolished, right? right. So okay. then they turned into sharecroppers, right? Because yeah. after slavery was over, everybody started sharecropping, right. and so they had a, an opportunity to purchase land that they were actually sharecroppers on. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then it started passing it down through generations. So then it ended up in my grandfather's hands, okay. and when he passed away in 07, he passed it down to my mom and yeah. her siblings, right? Yeah. So then we were trying to figure out what we were going to do with the land. It's been sitting for all these years. Like yeah, that. it's like, yeah. So um, on a trip down to the road, one of my cousins went with my aunt. And, you know, they just had a conversation trying to yeah. figure out what we're going to do with the land. Right. So my cousin was like, well, why don't we just start a hemp farm? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it went from that. Like, where, where do you even get that idea from? Like, I mean, she is actually her. Like, my, oh, okay. so we, me and her, both are cannabis enthusiasts, right? And, and we, we always talk about the benefits of what the hemp business can do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So um, we said, man, let's just try to do something together as a family. So it went from us growing the hemp, and you know, we actually started the company in 2019, right before the pandemic hit. So then the pandemic hit, we like, shit, you know, what we gonna do? Stuck, yeah. yeah. So we was like, well, we still, we can work outside. Everybody had to stay inside, but we got a whole farm and land. We got all this land, let's do something with it, right? So uh, we decided to keep continuing with our growth. And in 2020, we had our first harvest. So then now we got tons of uh, hip seeds sitting around. We trying to figure out what we gonna do with it. So I contacted my boy Ray over at Whiskey Right after reading the article. And I said, man, you think you guys can do this with our brand? You know what I mean, without, without hip seeds? And um, he said, yeah, let's try it out. So then they just start experimenting, man, and, and then coming up with a... What is, what is even the process? So the process of is basically replacing the wheat brain with the hip brain. Yeah, so it's, instead of you have... Yeah, but it makes it, it makes it healthy. So now you add the hip to it, it's gluten-free. You know what I'm saying? It's non-GMO, it's vegan, it's, it's plant-based now. So now we got a plant-based... Yeah, so we got a plant-based vodka and rum. You know what I'm saying? So it's very unique and it's crazy. So, like I said, we just went through, yeah, so we went through the whole process of just, uh, just doing different experiments with different formulas and tasting it. And when I tasted that shit, I was like, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That's it. Right now, we got the vodka is retailing for 42 and the, and the rum is retailing for 33 on our website. Yeah. So we, and we shipped to 42 states, including Michigan. 42 states. Yep. Michigan one of them, yes sir. Yeah, it is, it is. And I've been talking to a lot of brands from that's from here and they say it's hard to even get it out of state from their part. You know? Yeah, I, I don't but they try to monopolize it so that honestly so that we can't succeed. But you know, we resilient people. Yeah, it's cool, but we're gonna keep pushing though. You know what I'm saying? Like we always have, you know? Which one is your favorite? Rock. Yeah, it's so smooth, bro. No hesitation, bro. The vodka, man, this shit is different. It's different, bro. Like, because vodka, normally you get like a, a gasoline taste, gasoline smell. You need, you need something to taste it with. Yeah, exactly. When you open this bottle, you don't smell nothing. You can smell the hemp and the flavor that the hemp gives off, but you don't get that gasoline smell on the head. So, it's amazing, bro. Yeah, nah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I can taste it. Nah, nah, I got you, I got you, let's do it. It's fine. So this is the vodka right here. This is nothing, so you know it's alcohol, but it's, it's not that small uh, punch and smell. Yeah. Yeah. So the back end, you back end, you get that 
that, that hemp flavor with the woodiness and the kind of that, that flavor, that citrus flavor, right, right. That, that comes from the hemp seed. Citrus, for sure, yeah. No, that comes from the hemp seed, because the hemp seed that we grow, so you, it, you know, when you grow it, you can smell it, just like weed, right? And it gives off that same smell that you taste. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy part about it. And the, yeah, that is a, that is a very unique smell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you concentrate on it, because you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. And then we put your nose back in there again, you smell it. Because you smell it all of a sudden. Yeah, man. That is seriously interesting. It's crazy, bro. It's rare we get there, anything that surprises us. So. Are there any I think I'm just going to do one more for you all. I want to get out of the way. You guys have a good time. It is. But, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's some other ones out there, but they just not pushing forward like we are. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, one of them is out of Texas, and he kind of staying within that, that boundaries of the state, which is cool. But right now, we we have distribution in New York, California, Florida, Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. You know what I'm saying? So we working on some more states. And, uh, and where is the land at? The land is, at, is in Virginia. It's in Virginia. It's called Halifax, Virginia. So you got vodka and rum. Like, so yeah, we actually got a whiskey cup and a bourbon. Yeah, 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 ye